in the very early universe, um, right after the Big Bang, the very early universe was not completely uniform. And so there were parts of the early universe that were a little bit denser than other parts of the early universe. And it's possible that some of them were so dense that they actually immediately formed black holes. And those would be what's called a primordial black hole. Um, it's not clear that these things even exist. Um, it's possible. Um, one thing that's sort of interesting and weird about black holes is they're actually not that distinguishable. There's something that's called the no hair theorem, which basically says that, um, and it's, it's kind of a joke, it's basically a way of saying black holes are really, really simple systems. They can be completely described by the mass, the spin, and the charge. And in the universe, basically, nothing, because uh, if something has a charge, it's going to, because opposite charges attract, chances are it's going to wind up attracting opposite charges and just go straight to neutral. So basically, uh, mass and spin are two numbers that can completely describe a black hole. So if you found a black hole uh, wandering around, you wouldn't be able to tell um, if it were primordial as opposed to something that was formed in the early universe just from measuring its properties. You might be able to figure it out based on other, um, based on other characteristics, uh, where it is, something like that. But it would be very hard to distinguish between the two.